She's not very smart, I'll give her that. People can say whatever they want about me, this isn't about me. Our public safety record speaks for itself. That spat between President-elect Donald Trump's pick at, for the border czar position and Boston Mayor Michelle Wu is putting the city's role in the spotlight if the Trump administration carries out mass deportations. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Boston. Beth, Mayor Wu says the city will not be involved in any kind of roundup. And she's standing by a provision already in the books known as the Trust Act. And while this war of words is ongoing, advocates who work in the immigrant community say there is now fear of the unknown. It's know your rights. Dr. Gerald Gabo holding a Know Your Rights flyer. She's preparing for the Haitian community at Immigrant Family Services of Mattapan, with incoming President Donald Trump threatening mass deportations when he takes office. Now we have to spend a lot of time and energy on protecting our community against what's coming their way. The problem is immigration advocates aren't certain what's coming their way in the new administration. But the rhetoric was upped with these comments from incoming border czar Tom Homan about Boston Mayor Michelle Wu. Well, she's not very smart, I'll give her that. Because I just, what I just said is President Trump's going to prioritize public safety threats. The mayor is among Democratic leaders vowing to fight the deportation campaign promise, saying the law is on her side with the 10-year-old Trust Act that prohibits local law enforcement from cooperating with federal immigration authorities in civil matters. People can say whatever they want about me. This isn't about me. Our public safety record speaks for itself. I mean, that's your number one responsibility is to protect your communities. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So if she helps us, she gets the hell out of the way because we're going to do it. The mayor says protecting the city's residents from unlawful deportations is what she's doing. Whether it's in our school system, when it's interacting with police or other city departments, we do not ask about immigration status and we do not provide that information um, because we want these spaces to be where everyone can, can connect and, and therefore make everyone safer. Dr. Gabo says her organization is more prepared, saying many Haitians were illegally sent home during the first Trump administration and she won't let it happen again. It's anxiety, it's panic attack all over, but again, our job is to be there and to really, you know, ask people to remain calm. And the mayor makes a distinction saying the city can't get involved in deportations involving criminal activity like drugs, illegal weapons or human trafficking. But she does make it clear the city will defend its residents in every possible way. Reporting live from outside Boston City Hall, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.